How to use the backup feature in cPanel. This demo assumes you've already logged into cPanel. Now let's take a look at the backup options available through cPanel. Scroll down. Click the backup icon here. This is the main backup screen, where you can backup and or restore the files in your hosting account. In the case of this account, it is on a server that has daily, weekly, and monthly backups enabled. This means that the server is automatically backing up your files on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. By clicking either of these options, you can download a copy of these backups to your local computer. But we're not going to do that. Scroll down. This is the manual backup section of the backup screen. There are several ways to backup your files depending on which files you want to backup. You can backup only the home directory of your website by clicking here. You can backup a MySQL database from within your account by clicking here. Or you can backup only those files in specific subdomains or filters by clicking here. In this case, we are going to perform a full backup and save it to a remote FTP server. Click the Generate Download a Full Backup link. From this drop-down box, set the backup destination to Remote FTP Server. Enter the email address where you want a complete report of this backup to be sent. Enter the remote server where you want the backup to go. The FTP username and the FTP password. Now click Generate Backup. That's it! We've just created a full backup to the remote FTP server we specified. Click the Go Back link. Then click this Go Back link. Now let's only back up the home directory to our local computer. Click Home Directory. A file download box appears. Click OK. We've successfully backed up the home directory to our local computer. Now let's restore this backup we just made. Click this Browse button. Locate and select the backup file you wish to restore. Click the Open button. Then click the Upload button. The files have been restored. This is the end of the tutorial. You now know how to use the backup utility and can manually backup your files as often as you wish. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Be sure to let us know if you have any questions.